So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the full moon lunar eclipse. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for watching the videos I've been posting over on TikTok, over on Instagram. If you don't follow me over there, please do. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. Like this video if you like it at the very end. This should take about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go through really quickly um, just the different moon signs and how to navigate this lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipses are when the full moon is happening, essentially, the moon is opposing the sun so the masculine force of the sun which shows us our creativity is illuminating the moon which shows us our subconscious our emotions how we are able to tap into our intuition so for those of you who are into things like aliens and things like that we also know that the moon is just a reflection of something that used to coexist um, internally as well as externally in our solar system you, you, you will know what I mean if you understand what I'm talking about. But <clears throat> this moon is really in Taurus and tropically in Taurus, and it's gonna highlight our security. It's gonna highlight what we desire in the world on a physical, material level, also with our family, our relationships, our self-care, things like this. Inside of Scorpio season, this has to do with our intuition and creativity. So if you are going through it emotionally, this is really a time to highlight that you are an intuitive and creative person and you need to support yourself emotionally with creativity and intuitive things. So the best ways that you can do this are some of these examples here. Um, such as candle gazing, moon water, um, yoga, exercise, of course, changing up your diet, even if it's for seven days, going vegan, going plant-based, pescatarian, keto, whatever feels best for you, okay? If you're having family troubles and dynamics right now, you really want to focus on the secrets that you are being revealed and you want to highlight those inside of your relationships. I think that's gonna be the biggest piece that's gonna allow you to thrive. So first we're gonna go through the earth signs because this is gonna be affecting earth signs um, more directly at least with the practicality. So if you have an earth sign, moon, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you are a practical person. And a lot of astrologers will tell you, you know, you're very grounded and all of this stuff. It's more so practical. You have a system, you have a process, just like Earth does, right? So this is gonna affect you and help you understand, again, your creativity and your intuition. Why is this coming up now towards the end of the year in this season? It's to help you understand that your best plans are gonna come through when they're laid out in front of you. So if you have Earth sign placements, this will also affect you as well. If you have Earth houses, which you do, you have 12 houses. Even if you have an intercept, you also have 12 houses. Interceptions, for those of you who don't know, someone asked me on Patreon the other day. It just means that you have more ammunition to manage that specific house's challenges. So if it's in the fifth house, for example, it would be around creativity and things like this. So for the earth sign, or excuse me, for the water sign moons, this is going to affect you with your direct stability because you're already naturally intuitive pisces uh, scorpio um, cancer moons this is going to affect you internally with the way that you want to actually um, express your security so this could be like investing money into projects into um, companies that you like uh, into clothes this could be expressed in um, buying more things for your family. Black Friday's coming up, right? All of this is clockwork, all right? So this is gonna be you grounding yourself, coming up with new plans to make money, uh, structuring your income revenue streams more clearly. I would do this on paper, especially if you're watching this, use paper, use paper and pen to write down the things that you wanna do. I recently got a five-year planner because one of my cancer associates told me that that was something that she did. I felt like it was necessary, I bought it, it was 10 bucks, okay? So just having a planner laid out in front of you, if you're feeling lost, depressed, anxiety, we wanna get a course in front of you, one that you're choosing so that you can write out your own destiny, so that you can be the author of your own next chapter, all right? The next one that we wanna focus on is the air signs, air sign, moons. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, you are going to not only learn how to communicate better because air in astrology represents communication and sharing ideas and thoughts, but also you're going to be learning how to use this earth energy. So 
using your words to create income, using your words to create plans, using your words to create structure, using your words to create boundaries in your relationships are all going to be topics that may come up for you. And go ahead and comment below what that looks like for you, because this is going to play a huge part in your next um, your next season, your next season, which, you know, coming up is Sagittarius season, which is going to be an amazing time for you to express yourself. But having these boundaries, these rules, these things for yourself that other people can look at and respect are going to be great for you. Fire sign moons, Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius moon. This is a great time for you to learn how to inspire and encourage. Fire means inspiring and encouraging other people. If you're sad and depressed, usually the people that are really, really good with their words and with their energy are fire signs. And they like to encourage and express their love for people by doing things, okay? So taking action. So if you have a fire sign moon, structuring out your actions. So what I do personally is I use a whiteboard. I use an app called Planetary Hours, which I'll get into maybe in the end of this video. If you want me to actually make a whole separate video on Planetary Hours, go ahead and comment below. But fire signs, you want to structure out your your energy. So exercise, your walks, any type of sweating, all of you should be sweating all the time. But making sure that you're utilizing this really well. Now, if you're still watching this video, we're about six minutes in, your moon sign is constantly shifting, okay? Understand that you have something called a progressed moon. You should also look at your progressed moon in your chart because looking at your progressed moon is gonna help you understand where your moon sign, where your emotions and your subconscious things are now. This is gonna be critical in understanding how to utilize this Taurus moon. So for me, for example, I have my moon in this moment in Capricorn. Naturally, it's naturally, natally, it's in Sagittarius, so it's made one sign shift, right? So this is gonna be more focused around my the house that um, my moon is in, which for me right now, it's in my eighth house, I believe. Ninth house. So it has to do with belief systems, okay? So my belief systems have been more grounded this whole season. Okay, we wanna go through each of the houses. I'll do my best to put and include a house chart somewhere in here for you, but make sure that you have access to your progress chart. If you wanna make, um, if you want me to make a video on progress charts, go ahead and let me know. Also, I'll make sure to do that for you. I'm gonna be more on YouTube. So real quick, I wanted to let you know, go ahead and join the Patreon page. It's $9.99, we have just around 50 people. I think we're going towards 60 very quickly. Go ahead and sign up for the Patreon page. These videos I'll be expanding on in depth, typed or with audio over there. So if you wanna utilize it more quickly, if you'd like a personal reading, I have closed them publicly. If you really do need one, go ahead and message me, email me, something like that. Um, the price is, is where it's at for a reason. So if you really do need one, let me know. Also, if you are still struggling to learn your chart, if you're still struggling to learn how to utilize spiritual tools and practices and understand yourself, please, please, please stop wasting time. Go ahead and jump into my three-day group coaching that's coming up. I'm gonna be giving you all my secrets on how to read charts quickly with the houses, the planets, the zodiacs, everything that you need to know on how to break it down for yourself and other people, your business, your partnerships. I'll be going into synastry in this coaching, synastry, relationship astrology, astro cartography, how to travel, where you need to go, what time you need to go based on your chart. I'll be doing this class coming up and I'm only going to be taking a few students in the first one. I have run this uh, about six times this summer um, and I really want to extend this energy and make sure I'm teaching more people. Um, super exciting. Go ahead and let me know if you're interested. I'll tag something below in this video so that you can get access to that. Last but not least, I will have some more music coming up before the year ends and I'm extremely excited to give that to you. So if you haven't already gone and found me on Apple Music or Spotify, my name is Sun the Pisces. I appreciate you taking these 10 minutes to study with me, to you know get this information, and I really hope you have an amazing week. Again, the full moon is on Thursday at 2.57 p.m. CST. Enjoy yourself, have fun. 
write down your intentions, and don't forget that you are going to thrive and win so long as you choose to write that chapter in that specific way. All right, I love you. I'll see you soon. Peace.